The story of the father of all those who believe is a fascinating story. In Genesis 17, verse 5, God speaks to this guy and tells him, No longer shall your name be called Abram, which means exalted father, but your name shall be Abraham, meaning father of multitude. For I have made you a father of many, a multitude of nations. Obviously, this name change is a major turning point in the narrative. It looks like a focal point that divides the story into a before and an after. The before section starts with a genealogy of Abraham's father, Terah. And the after section ends with a genealogy of Abram's brother, Nahor. Interestingly, right before and right after this name change, the narrative revolves around the concept of the covenant. Yahweh makes a covenant, an agreement with Abraham. The covenant description contains a section about the birth of Ishmael on one side, and a section on the birth of Isaac on the other side. There are two stories in this Abrahamic narrative in which our protagonist comes to the rescue of Sodom and Lot, one on the Abram's side and one on the Abraham's side of the chiasm. There are also two stories in which the wife of the main character is taken by a foreign king to the palace, once under the name of Sarai in the before, and once under her new name, Sarah, in the after section. In both stories, this godly man lies. Well, he tells a partial truth. Why? Because he's afraid. The most exciting part here is the parallelism between chapters 12 and 22. Both sections begin with a divine command. In chapter 12, Abram's spiritual journey starts with God's command, go forth. In the same way, in chapter 22, before reaching the climax of his spiritual journey on Mount Moriah with Isaac on the altar and the ram cut in the thicket, God speaks to Abraham again and gives him the same command, go forth. Shalom.